Hey guys, it's been a little while. So um, I would like to update you on this this project, the Movement State Machine project, the one we're working on um, mostly on live streams, and I'm also working on it a little bit offline as well. So I'd like to show you exactly where we are at right now. We got a couple of updates in here. So we have a shooting mechanic, really really simple shooting mechanic uh, with a, with a raycast. We have um, bullets at the bottom right of the screen, and it leaves a decal on the wall. So this is for the Hit scan weapon. So we're trying to create a Overwatch clone, and this is for the hit scan weapon. We still don't have any bullets coming towards um, the wall, so nothing comes out of a gun, nor do we have a gun. But it's not required for the logic since those are hit scan weapons. So as soon as you press, you actually test to see if you hit something. And in this case, we hit the wall, so we spawn a decal. Of course, um, we're gonna have to work on this a little bit more to create the projectiles because those are much. Um, they're a lot a lot different because when you click you don't have the hit instantly You have to create a projectile that travels in that direction first and then you will end the hit Talking about projectile we have the hook so the grappling hook this thing is a projectile and We only start moving when the projectile hits as you can see So this is working well, and we also have a little state at the end that pushed up um, pushes up a little bit higher. So if we hook say around here We are still gonna get on top of this thing because we have a little state that pushes up now It's not a hundred percent. It's not gonna push you super high So you make sure you don't miss as you can see here and What else do we have so we have um, public cooldowns a little bit of UI at the at the top left over here We have left click right click shit is a hook E and Q, which are not coded just yet, so this is the Widowmaker in Overwatch, but we don't have the uh, little projectile mine, and we don't have the ultimate just yet. Now, of course, I don't think we're going to be tackling those on just yet, since we're really working on having a solid movement state machine. Okay, so um, now in terms of the issues we currently have, so the moving platform over here has a lot of issues. One of the first problem is the fact that we keep the momentum even though we jump off. So say I go over here and I jump off now, I'm still going up with the platform a little bit. And you can really see that if you try and hook somewhere else. So let me show you this. As you can see, I was moving with the platform as well. So this is a known issue. I'm gonna be working on it really, really soon and that's gonna be part of the next update. Now another issue is the decals. Decals are not set um, to move. So we gotta make sure that this thing is actually uh, staying on top of the moving platform and Finally another issue is the sliding mechanic So we don't have a sliding mechanic just yet So this is a slope that if you get on you should actually slide down now What happens here is that we get as if you can see at the top left we are in the falling state However, we are not really falling. We're just sitting there and we're accumulating uh, vertical velocity so when we get off uh, we go at a crazy speed simply because our player think he's really falling so in case we do implement fall damage in the future then uh, this would kill us right here because the player would think that we're really we've been falling for a while so that actually concludes pretty much the update around this now the next step for me is gonna be to fix those three known issues so the sliding the grappling hook on this thing and also the influence that the platform gives us and then after that, we are going to go and move on and create a, um, a training ground. So a nice little level that we're actually going to be able to train. Something that looks a little bit better than this as well. So we can have a nice visual as we are building this clone. Alright guys, so if you want to set this up, you can actually do so. You can download this project and have a look by going on GitLab. So everything is free, open source. You go on GitLab. Um, N3K movement controller the link is going to be in the description down below as well So make sure you go there you can come and uh, ask question about this on discord You can poke me directly on discord and talk about this project I'll be glad to answer this is a project that I actually like quite a lot and I plan on moving uh, Moving up with this project um, a lot better than than the rest of the project because this is something that is really close to me as I enjoy playing overwatch and I always wanted to make something that um, moves your character around and feels good so we're gonna be tweaking this thing until it is perfect all right guys thank you so much for watching this of course you can you can actually keep up uh, with us on discord and just in the GitLab if you want to subscribe to it you can also do that and if you want to help us build it uh, feel free to, to to create a branch but of course I would recommend that you come and speak to us directly on discord first 
Okay, so that will conclude it for me. The next video are going to be about a little bit of WebGL as um, this is something I wanted to cover as well and I have finally finished at least one prototype. So we're going to be hosting a game on WebGL and connecting through it. So we have some nice multiplayer in the browser action going on guys. Uh, stay tuned for that. Should be coming in either tomorrow or the day after.